All right, ladies and gentlemen, it's time to get fit on this workout Wednesday with the one and only Jeff McDaniel with Fast Fit. What do you have to tell us today? I see this large step up box, box here. Okay, so many things you can do with it. We're not jumping on it okay, today. Okay, good, good. All right, so full disclosure, I, sometimes I come in here with the intention of Bring it a workout, yes. getting your pump on. Right. Today, though, what I want to do is make something that's more applicable to everybody, all fitness levels, young and old, okay. and really something to get in kind of that lifestyle component. So what we're going to do is this is a high box mobility drill, mobility flow. By the way, special shout out to buddy of mine, BJ Gador, who innovated this whole concept. Okay. And I've started using it personally. Big benefit. So what we're going to do is like, let's say, for instance, that you, you go for a walk or a hike, and if you experience stiffness and tightness, prior to, afterwards, or maybe during, this is something that's gonna improve everything, loosen you up. So what I want you to do is find some access to a high box. Now the height is kind of relative, but you wanna get higher because what I'm gonna to try to do is get into a stretch the hips. Mm -hmm. Also for me, basketball injuries, tons of rolled ankles, I have to really kind of work on mobilizing the ankle and the knee. Gotcha. So what I'm gonna do first off is on some type of box or ledge, go from forward onto the toes, back onto the heels, back on the heels is gonna get more hips. Mm -hmm. This is gonna get me improving health of the ankles and the knees. By the way, Adam, you only get a pair of these in your lifetime. Right. So you have to work on this. Now, another thing is, let's say that you are a, um, you play golf? Yes. How many golfers experience back issues? A right? lot. Right, because they have lost the ability to rotate sure. through their body, right? So once in this position right here, you work on some rotation, word alert, hip and thoracic mobility is something they're good also. Now, you can also get into from here, we're talking about just one leg up on a box, get into this classic pigeon stretch. And what you do here, this shifts the emphasis to your glute hip. What you have is when you have tight hips, you have a tight piriformis, which compresses your sciatica. Y'all catching hence, all this? Sciatica issues. You yeah. probably heard of that, hadn't you, right? <laughs> you know I have. I mean, right, so it's, this is, man, this right here, critical for people to get into that kind of deep hip stretch back also and forth. stretching that psoas as well. Well, you can, and also yeah. from right here, back to this um, front leg forward, you can get into stretch your obliques. I think you're just rotation. showing off. I'm not showing off. What I am trying to show is if you want good knees and back and thoracic spine, this is something that's critical for you. If you're a walker or hiker or you jog, you got to improve like your gait, your stride. And this is a simple ankle mobility drill. Also, you can stretch out the hamstring, right? Could you also use the, the arm? of a couch or you know the arm you know the cushion part you, you of, gotta find something to that's gonna work for you right you know what i'm saying yeah and really what i'm trying to do is to get to see if i can show this you want to get enough of a, a deep hip stretch it needs to be high enough that you can stretch your hips gotcha so again the big key to this is we're emphasizing ankles knees hips and back the things you're going to need in life if you're young and you play sport you're going to need to do this so what i would say is let's say you can't work out for a full hour or even 30 minutes right for every hour that you sit down I get short hip flexors. Okay. Now when I stand up, it's like that old adage, leg bone connected to the tailbone. So yeah. you got this, this hip flexor attaches your quad to your back. So if I sit for an hour, short hip flexors, it stresses the spine out. Whoa, there's your there's mic. The mic. And so what you wanna do is you got to find ways of stretching this. So, so for every hour, so technical here, for every hour that you sit, try to get at least 60 seconds in of a hip flexor stretch. Wow. See, I'm stretching the front leg and the down leg and just getting in some movement. So add that for a minute. I'm telling you, this is the health component. Hips, back, shoulders, everything. So Good stuff. Jeff, I know it's not a hardcore workout. No, no, this is great. Flexibility. But get started with this today. Let me know if you do it. And uh, get your free two-week trial to the best 30-minute workouts in town, Fast Fit. Thank you. Okay, Jeff McDaniel with Fast Fit bringing us a workout Wednesday. I gotta catch my breath. Let's take a quick break. How about it, Jeff? How about it? We'll be back in a minute.